Okay, welcome back to the man who's got a face for uh, radio and a voice for silent movies. All right, so the, the um, in the first part or part one, I was taking the easy out and uh, the video stopped, so I had to go and download some footage. So I've got some room on my camera to uh, take this out. Um, I think earlier I said uh, what I said was wrong. Um, it's the thread on the easy out that goes the opposite way to threads. So you still turn it. Um, left, le uh, lefty lefty for Lucy Lucy in order to loosen it, okay? Now uh, as you can see I've put an easy out in and actually this is now slowly, I've got hand there and it is coming. And now it stops and now it's coming again. Okay. So, as we can see, the, uh, the thread's on the easy out. And if you look towards the bottom, I'll probably put some to point with me. There we go. So, if we, uh, if I just hold that still for you, if you look at the threads here, they're going the opposite way to the threads here. All right, and that is basically an easy out. I don't know if that's in focus for you. Okay, so what I said earlier was wrong. It's the thread that uh, goes the opposite way. Now that's what I'm truly stuck on there, so I'll probably have to take that in a vice and take her off, or I can do that later. Um, but there you go. There's my pack of easy out. Nice bit of kit. Uh, I think I bought them at a market stall for about a couple of quid. Uh, well worth the wait in gold when things go wrong. Back today. Okay, so I'm going to show you the new disc and the old disc. So this is the, uh, I'm just going to move the camera on so it's in front of me there. Push it down a little bit. So this is the old disc and if you feel, you can see if I try to hold it on the side, there's, as I drag the screw down around, there's a ridge. Okay, that ridge shouldn't be there. It's the same on both sides. All right. The new disc like so it's nice and smooth that's what a brake disc should be not what we got there all right now I don't have a screw to put back in for the uh, screw I've taken out with the easy out um, however it's not too much of a drama I will get a replacement next week um, over the weekend it's not too much of a drama because the wheels the wheel nuts themselves will hold that on there's a second screw as well that locate it so yeah it's not ideal however it does work so here we go, we're going to put it back together and I'm going to continue filming and it shouldn't take too long. Slide that up. And tie a screw. I'll probably get two new screws because the head on this isn't that great either. Doesn't need to be too tight, it just needs to be kind of that's fine in there. Okay, even I'm gonna put the uh, start building the caliper back up. What I'm gonna do for the time here is try and move this around so you've got a better view. Let's see what I'm doing. Maybe he says but it's too dark there. I'm going to pause the video and get a light. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah, wrong way around. Good start. As you see, it only goes one way.
another pad's in. And again, they only go one way. They're quite important, make sure you put the spacers on. Okay, that one keeps falling off. This side's on. Okay, let's bring it out here. Right. Pause there a minute. Any second now, I'm gonna pause you. Okay, so that's the pads in. What we're not gonna do, I'm gonna push the caliper back. Um, there are tools you can buy for to do this. Mine seem to have gone missing, so I'm just gonna use a big uh, pipe clamp. All I'm doing, I hope you can see. This X. Yeah, oh. It's basically a big pipe clamp. Right the way through, gently squeeze that piston so it goes back. And this is why you undid the cap earlier on the reservoir. So as you push this back now, the fluid's got somewhere to go. Okay, nice and slowly, don't force it, nice and gently. Okay, that's now in. Make sure that uh, space is on. And this should. Yeah, slide back over. Lovely. And all we're going to do now is put the two 13mm nuts in. Should we get a bite? What you don't want to be doing is cross threading these as you come to the end of the job. Quite hard actually to try and stay for you to see and do this. There we go. Anyway, let's spot one in. The top one I'll be old. This is the one I have to use the spanner for. I'm not going to bore you by showing sure you I'm going to put the wheel on. It's quite important once you've got the caliper on, you need to uh, press the brake pedal a couple of times. Because if you don't, first time you go to use the brake when you're moving, it won't work and roll it down to the floor. So I'm going to do that now just to show you. All right. So 
So you've got the pedal there. Okay, so you've got the pedal there. We're all the way down to the floor once, twice. Yeah. So four fifths on the got a solid pedal, and that's what you want, okay? Right. I'm going to end the video there because the only thing I need to do is to put the wheel back on and take her off the jack. And I'm sure you've got better things to do with your life uh, than listen to me rabbit on how you put a wheel on. Okay, take care guys, stay safe and uh, thank you to listen to the man who's got a face for, face for radio and a voice for silent movies. All the best now.